Usher got a little exclusive on that. Okay, Birdman and Tony Braxton, uh, Joe Button and Tahiri, Cam Newton, and last but not least, I am dragging the hell to hell. Okay. Out of Mr. Creflo Dollar tonight. You want to send your attorneys, okay? And your charge after me, okay? Well, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. We here tonight, okay? We are here. Church is now in session. Uh, why is my phone? Sorry, y'all. That was my phone. Let me turn it off, too, because everybody going to be texting me. So, <coughs> hold on. <coughs> that ain't on rope. Okay, shout out to all the people that have uh, uh, recovered from uh, COVID. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see. Okay, who are we gonna start with? Let me let me get in the comments before we start uh, the actual show. Okay, let me give everybody like one more minute, and I'm gonna pull Jazz Miss Glass A. And for those of y'all that aren't subscribed to my Patreon, you know we dropping some hot wine over there, okay? It's hot. It's real hot. I wish we can boil it. Um, we are going to be doing a special live over in Patreon after tonight's show. Okay, I got a special guest. I'm going to be premiering tonight. Um, so please uh, be sure to join patreon.com forward slash Tasha K. All right, let me see. I stayed up for the fuckery. Need to consider the international fans as well. I said shout out to Africa, Europe, Japan, Australia. Shout out to all my foreign fans. I love y'all. And y'all staying up late just to catch the show. I appreciate that, okay? Y'all said stop being late. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, thank you to everybody that has donated. I appreciate that. We'll pop back up the Super Chats later, okay? I appreciate everything. You know, I don't ask for nothing. Y'all don't have to give, but if you do, you know, I know it's a blessing, you know, for both of us. I get it. Okay. Um, it's, no, it's not 17,000 viewers, viewers already. That cannot be. No, I was like, that cannot be. That, that take about 30 minutes for them to come in. Okay, who, who's first? Who we starting out with first? Let's see. Brandy and Monica. Mm, mm. I want to sh first shout out to both ladies, okay? Especially Brandy. Brandy is a wino, okay? She never misses a show. Um, and so I don't know if you caught that boring ass uh, versus battle. <laughs> it was. I just don't see the. Now I get it. Now listen, listen, listen. I get it from an artist standpoint, okay? Now I I believe both of them like revived. Their streams, okay? Because, you know, streaming is where it's at. And so um, leading up to the versus battle, I think they had over like a million streams. During the versus battle, it like really increased their streams by 300%. And I believe both of them like got 20 million streams each. So they both took home a nice ass check, okay? Um, and so I get that from a business standpoint, but I just ain't got the time, okay? I got too many children, too many businesses, too many things to mind, too many businesses to mind on my own. And I'm not talking about uh, entrepreneurial businesses. I'm talking about celebrity businesses. You feel me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jasmine, how's that one? To sit on a live stream, okay, for over three hours, not one hour, three, three hours and watch them lip sync, okay, to songs that I already done damn know. I cannot do it. I'm sorry. I cannot do it. I don't have the time, I don't have the money, I don't have the patience, okay? Now, I get it, it's a bit, it's a good business standpoint, as I said before, but for me, I, I just have to justify my time if I'm going to sit there for three hours and watch Brandy, okay, revive her Moesha uh, 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 character, writing poems, the sweater she had, I think she had on a coolie sweater, is it a coolie sweater? What, what, what they call that damn sweater? And Monica, Monica looked like Rumpel Stimson. I just, I cannot with them long ass legs and them skinny tight ass pants. She knows she shouldn't be wearing no tight pants like that when you got legs and, and they skinny like that, especially if you ain't got no hips. You're supposed to wear some pants that flare away, okay, to give you some coverage. You, shit don't go down and you wearing plastic and pleather and the damn hot ass weather in that hot ass room because I know it was hot, all them damn lights on and shit, okay? Um, but congratulations to both ladies. Like I said, Brandy is a huge wino. Uh, Monica, you know, she be lurking and shit. She be lurking. And, um, yeah, I get it. It was, a, it was a good business move, but just wasn't worth my time, okay? Uh, who's next? I know they probably gonna drag me for that. Keisha Cole, congratulations, Keisha Cole. She has finally um, sent her, uh, I think it was her third son, back to his uh, his real mama, okay? Because she was his stepmama. Now, I don't know if you guys heard, 
Stop, Jasmine. You already make me laugh. Stop. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard. She has since finalized her divorce from a nigga named Booby. Now, when you marry somebody named Booby, you are probably going to be headed to divorce court. Okay, I wish they would have like aired that divorce on uh, uh, divorce court. That shit would have been funny as hell. Why she would have got a check too? Cause she needed it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now she got three kids and shit to raise. Well, not anymore. She dropped one. Life got real. Now everybody's been wondering. Now I've been trying to get the wine on what actually happened, okay? And nobody won't talk to me. They're like, Tasha, you know we can't tell you that, but we can confirm that her and little Nico, baby Nico, are not together, okay? And I call him baby Nico because if you go to his Instagram, Nico, uh, I think his name is KL or uh, Kaya, I don't know, okay? He looked just like a little baby, okay? Looked like she just spit him right on out at the same time she had um, uh, their son, who was the same exact size as him. Now, um, I, I kind of fit, like, when, when the divorce came, because the, the breakup uh, happened just, uh, it was less than a month ago, okay, that she uh, actually came to her senses. Because, you know, life get real when you have a baby, okay? Now, when y'all screwing and he's eating your cooch real good, okay, you're blind to that. But when you have a baby and you can't have relations the way that you used to have them, um, when the baby wasn't there, you know, he's having to get up and now you need money. Formula is $40 a can. You paying everybody's, uh, uh, medical insurance, including baby Nico's and the baby that he had, the baby Tobias. I think his name is Tobias. I don't know. Baby Nico and baby Tobias. Um, she even had baby book, uh, uh, booby too. All of them. I'm just like, she's just like, she's just, she's just uh, what do, you, what do you call those? She's codependent. She's very codependent. Um, and so I know for her, she's just like, you know what? This is a wake up call for me. I'm a grown woman. I cannot be raising a third child. So I'm going to send baby Nico back to his mama. Okay. Where I got him from. Cause she literally, and he told that story. She literally got me from, I was living with my mama. And if you look on Instagram, he is in the bathroom and you could tell that the shower curtains got flowers on them. It's a plastic shower curtain with flowers, had the gold rods and everything. He's at his mammy's house. Now, um, <clears throat> And where he should be, where he should be, because he's still a baby, he's still a child. Um, and so I know for her, she's just like, you know what, I'm about to be divorced. I'm 30, I'm, I'm, I'm almost 40 years old. I, I should not be carrying no baggage into my 40s. And so honestly, I'm really happy that Keisha has woke the hell up, okay? Now, um, unfortunately, you know, she has two kids by... Two babies, four babies, um, no child support in a divorce situation. And so, honestly, I wish her the best. And hopefully, hopefully she won't take her cougaring to another level no more. Okay, you ain't supposed to have no babies while you cougaring. You ain't supposed to have no babies while you in any entanglements. I hope Jada didn't get pregnant. You think Jada got pregnant? Can Jada still get pregnant? Jada can get pregnant. Oh. I don't know. She exercised too much. You know when you exercise too much, you know what I'm saying, you can't ovulate and shit like that. So she probably did not get pregnant. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Anyway, she's sweating all her little hormones out and everything. She ain't got nothing else to sweat out. Congratulations, Keisha, okay? Happy for you. Um, who's next? Now, now this one. Why his ears look like dwarf ears? See them little pointed ears? Andrew Gillum. Now, if y'all did not follow Andrew Gillum's um, expose, I don't know where y'all have been. Now, uh, it's always been in the woodworks, okay? According to Funky Dineva, because he went to FAMU. Um, I guess it's where Andrew Gillum, the former mayor of Tallahassee, went. Um, you know, he ran for governor, lost that, of course. And I think he kind of hit a depression. Claims he, you know, has been fighting alcoholism. Let me drink for him. But anyway, as after them pictures surfaced, you know what? It would drive me to drink more. But he said he went to rehab. I said, hey, 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 hey. That's how you deal with stuff? I, you know, that's how I deal with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, but anyway. So, back to Andrew Gillum. Now, uh, the pictures came out. He was uh, bald on the floor, butted, butted ass naked, okay? I don't know if any discharge was coming out of his asshole or not. I don't know. I didn't see that. I didn't zoom in on the photos or nothing like that. But... There was a male escort in the room that had, I guess, apparently uh, OD'd. Um, and then there was another old man in there. They found drugs, paraphernalia, and uh, Andrew Gillum on the floor, covered in his own vomit. And there were pictures. Now, when I saw the pictures, I honestly thought it was a setup, okay? Because I was like, this is too clean. 
Okay, it's too clean. It's too easy. I think they drugged him. The escort was paid because you know escorts they 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 will set you up. Okay, women escorts do it. So men escorts will set that ass up too. And I think they set literally his ass up, asshole and all. And um, that's why he was on the floor like that, vomiting. Now, um, pictures came out. I really felt bad because I'm like. I don't know what politician he pissed off or what part of the government he pissed off for them to really put him out like that. But y'all black men better be damn careful around here, okay? Because the government, listen, if they can't, if they can't shoot your ass, all right, they're gonna embarrass your ass. And you ain't gonna be able to work no more. That's how they get you. They kill you, they kill your spirit and your pockets. Now, and they kill both in this case. Now, he is uh doing, I guess, a confession. With Tamara Hall. Is it Tamara Hall? It's Tamara Hall. Okay. Shout out to that sister for getting that interview. That's a strong ass interview, especially, you know, for season two. I heard her season one did do so well, but season two did amazing. And uh, this interview during the pandemic is I'm going to be right there. But I just thought when I was listening to the trailer, I was just like, why is he speaking out? I, I forgot about it. I literally forgot about it. I didn't even know that he was out here trying to do interviews. But I'm like, but when you bring that back up, you relive that experience. And I just think it's just, it's a bad taste in everyone's mouth. Now, the the part about him being, uh, playing on the other team, about him not, you know, uh, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Do I think, can, can I prove that Andrew Gillum is gay? No. But do I think that he's gay? Yes. And the reason being is that he, you know, even on the interview, his lips was like, I know it ain't got shit to do with anybody's lips when it comes to their sexuality. But I noticed he always looks way better and way cleaner than his wife. Now, his wife is a beautiful black woman, but she honestly looks like his mother. The pictures that Jasmine and I looked at yesterday, I was just like, uh, I think this is a cover up so that he can get into politics. And now that everything is out, if I was him, I would just go and just live my life. Now, I know he got too many children to do it, especially in the pandemic. And he's not working right now to try to divorce a wife. But I honestly think Andrew Gillum does play for the other team. And I just think he just needs to be free. And I, I honestly think the LGBT community is so big that he may even end up getting elected, especially in Florida. Florida got some interesting people. Let me shut up because I'm wondering. shut up every time he says something like Andrew shut up if I was his wife I'd just be like listen everybody done forgot about it get your ass out there on the campaign trail let's go we got bills to pay up here you got four kids okay that you got to raise until they're 18 and then you can live you then you can leave me and go wear your thongs okay because mm -hmm. mm. yeah I, he's a nice looking man he'll look good in a pair of thongs okay even though he won't like me looking at him but you know it's good man is a man <laughs> you can't help it yeah, you know Who's next? I ain't want to drag his wife too bad. I thought I was going to. I was like, no, that, that's a black woman. You know, woman. She got all them children. She ain't had time to exercise and get her body back. Now, speaking of uh, bodies that are, that are going to get jacked up from babies, uh, Yaya Mayweather, okay? Uh, Floyd uh, Mayweather's daughter has gone out and gotten uh, uh, pregnant by a nigga that literally does this. He probably did this when she said, I'm pregnant. He said, okay. What you want me to do? The same thing he told all eight of his other baby mamas. How many kids does he have? Because one baby mama just, just dragged his ass today saying that he ain't seen that baby in eight months. Now, I saw her on Instagram crying. And I honestly wanted, my heart goes out to him because I'm like, I don't know if your mama is there for you, but there's no way you, be, you would be carrying baby number eight from a nigga that's literally calling his death, okay, into his vortex. Now, if you watch Abraham Hicks, you know what vortex is, okay? Four. I think he got more than that. He's got more than that. I, I see children around him all the time. I don't even think he knows his kids' names. I don't. I don't. He's another little uh, young future in the making. making. Um, looks up to him. But anyway, um, so yeah, Yaya is out here fighting while she was pregnant. And that was the reason why she was probably fighting that girl because she pregnant. Now she's pregnant too. And they sitting here arguing over, you know what? I ain't, she's young. I just, I just couldn't imagine myself carrying nobody. I can't, let me stop. Mm -mm. 
But you know what? Both her parents got money, so I'm sure they're going to take care of that baby. That NBA young boy can't afford to take care of at all, okay? Because Birdman's taking all his money. And, um, uh, yeah, everything. I can't talk about this no more. This is getting me emotional. I got a kid. I was going to drag her ass. I ain't going to drag her no more. I ain't going to drag her no more. Let me take a break. Let me take a break. Regroup. Because I was literally about to go in on the child. But, I mean, she almost damn lost her life out there trying to cut somebody and the girl trying to cut her. It's too much, okay? That's why I don't really like talk, talk about these children on, on this channel, okay? Um, we got some sponsors that we need to brag about, okay? Which means boldly raise a glass to. See, I enjoy oral sex. But to be honest, some of my experiences have been not pleasing due to lack of proper vaginal hygiene. I went down on this chick once. And the yoni was so good and fresh. It took me on like a whole nother level of just pleasure. So at that moment, I had to stop and ask, what are you using? And she told me, embrace Pangea Feminine Wash. We all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence. So visit embracepangea.com. And of course, I got my winos covered for a discount. So use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. Y'all remember that damn song? Don't y'all laugh at me? Why knows? But for real, listen close and listen carefully. The olive leaf extract can reverse high blood pressure and diabetic high blood sugar, or the sugar, as some of our grandmamas may call it. It can also kill any nasty little bugs in your bodies like parasites, bacteria, fungi, tumors, and much, much more. And if that's not enough, you can also tell certain cancers like breast, prostate, colon, liver, and skin cancer to take a seat because the olive leaf extract has been known to fight it and their friend lupus can get it too okay so i need my winos to be in good health because we have some good dragon to do so visit myoliveleaf.biz to help get your health in order okay i was reading y'all comments that's why i was looking down let me go over here to my phone so i can see them because i don't want to be like all like this okay trying to read y'all comments hold on real quick now uh, while the comments are coming up, please, guys, do not forget your Nutriburst, okay? This is one of my favorite, favorite multivitamins, and I like it because it's in liquid form. It's packed. Damn, as soon as I turned on my phone to look at the comments, every you see shit just going off? <laughs> okay. Um, so, yes, packed full of all the vitamins, minerals, nutrients that we need. I love it because it honestly acts as a meal replacement, although... I wouldn't say it helps you lose weight, but if you're drink if you're drinking something as powerful as this that gives you all of the vitamins and minerals that your body needs, you really won't need to eat that much, okay? We really should only be le eating like five small meals a day, but I, I eat like three, and it's one of my favorite uh, uh, multivitamins. You can find the link below if you want to order it. Um, if you don't like it, you can always return it, but I'm telling you, anybody that has tried this that I put on, they're like, Tasha, can you please get us a discount code because the shit is too good, but it's it's expensive, I get that. But listen, health is wealth, okay? <sighs> Jasmine said you you need tell me anything. You good? Okay, okay. Um, let me go over here to the comments before we uh talk about Dr. Dre. Okay, is my damn phone turn my damn phone off and shit? Let me see. Y'all having a good time. Y'all better be hitting the damn wine glass. I need to get me attention. Okay. Let me see. Let me see what y'all talking about. Let me see. Um, so fuzzy need to be clear. I don't know what needs to be clear. No more coochie man. Uh, the coochie man has just gotten a contract, okay? Just like the, the white woman that does Geico, okay? He has just gotten the Pangea contract, okay? So we're going to be rolling out a very nice commercial with him. So y'all better get used to Mike. Shit. Mike Ryan uh, 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 eating, uh health and wealth and eating pussy. Right. As he should be. Okay, let me see. Who's what are they talking about? Let me talk about. Oh, 14,000? Shout out to 14,000. Let me get back to this commentary. Okay, shit. Dr. Dre. Now listen, my source has backed out. Okay, so I guess somebody done went and ran their damn mouth. See, that's what happened. I ran my damn mouth too much, okay? And so now I can't get shit. Involved in this damn divorce, and partly because his wife is a is an attorney, and she's hired one of the best uh, 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 divorce attorney uh, attorneys there is in in LA, in California, and so Dr. Dre has a hell of a fight. Okay, so this woman has been prepared for his ass for twenty years. Okay, twenty years of what? 
I was trying to get the receipts on, okay? Alleged STDs, alleged other women in brothels, okay? Um, alleged beatings, okay? And she stayed because of the kids, okay? She didn't want to split her kids up. So, she, you know, she... Uh, Toughed it out, them ass whoopings. And so when people are saying, oh my gosh, why should she get $2 million a month? Well, if I got my ass whooped for all them years, okay, let me turn this damn phone off again. It is just going off. If I got my ass whooped for all them years and all them damn STDs, vagina raw and everything, probably can't even use it going into the next phase. I got to worry if I got damn cervical cancer and shit. You know what? I should be afforded $2 million as well, okay? She sat back, watched him, uh, and helped him to make the money. It wasn't like she was a gold digger or anything. She, she's an attorney, okay? So she probably helped to protect a lot of what he has and probably knows more. And he, you know what? He's going to give her that money, okay? Because she knows a lot of shit that he probably doesn't want coming out. And that's the reason why my source backed up. I was like, God, dog. So, yes, pay her. Give her her damn money. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay? And Future need to pay up, too. His ass need to be hitting hard one time. Okay, speaking of uh, 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 spousal support and child support, yes, future and Eliza. Now, I know this story just came out with like Summer Walker and Summer Walker's trying to like uh, 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 bash uh, uh, Eliza for trying to come after future for 53,000. Meanwhile, Summer Walker's man is getting dragged in and out of court having babies on her. Okay, and he got child support out of yin yang, so she's probably like, damn, where's the money I'm supposed to be spending? Because you know Summer Walker is London on the tracks meal ticket, okay? He's produced all her songs, he collects all her damn royalties and pays her, okay? After he pays that damn child support. So she's feeling it. She can't stand women like Eliza. But I, here, here's what I'm going to say. In order for a man like Future to stop having babies, maybe he needs to get hit that one time. Maybe that 53000 needs to come down the pipe for his ass to stop making babies that he's not going to raise, okay? That's what I think needs to happen, okay? You're dumb enough to nut in me, you're dumb enough to cut me a check, you dumb ass. Mm -hmm. Then that's on that. Moving on. Dr. Dre gonna pay RuPaul. He sure is. That woman looks just like RuPaul. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's some holes in this house. There's some holes in this house. Now, I had a very, you know what's so funny? I had a very serious conversation with my husband this morning con uh, uh, concerning old Tony. Now, Tony came out and sent out an interesting, I guess it was a tweet or a statement. She said that she wished she would have had more sex, would have partied more, and drank. Uh, what'd she say? Uh, drank or, or, or something like that, okay? And I'm like, Tony, wh why are you saying this in the middle of a pandemic and you got a fiancé at home that you're about to jump the broom with? Why Why would you just come out of the woodwork and say that? And so, you know, I had to go to my house. I was like, how would you feel if, you know, I just, at 50 years old, just out of the blue, I'm married to you, and I get on social media saying that I wish I would have had more sex, I wish I would have partied more, and I wish I would have did more drink, or whatever she said, okay? And he was like, to be honest with you, Birdman probably ain't hitting it right, okay? He's old, he done literally uh, uh, ran out of sperm, you know, because he had hell, hella holes, okay? Even Keith Chacol was one of his holes, at one time. I mean, he had like four when he was with her. And that's a lot of sperm to be dipping on. And so now Tony has, has the leftovers. And so now she's like, I'm 50. And you know, as a as an older woman, we start to get into our prime. And if he can't pick up his stomach, okay, and beat it down. Because you know, women that age, they want to go over and over again. He ain't got it. So she, want, she honestly wants an entanglement. It was a plea. It was a cry for help. That's exactly what it was, okay? And so, Tony, I'm like, Tony, listen, you better not leave your meal ticket. Now, you don't file bankruptcy once. Your music ain't selling like that. Ain't nobody trying to do no verses with you. I don't know who she could do a verses with. She can't do it with Anita Baker because Anita Baker is, you know, too old. You know what I'm saying? That's the only person that matches her voice. T-Boss. And T-Boss ain't got no, she ain't got no album. So, I mean... I don't know. So the streaming ain't coming in. Birdman is her meal ticket. I'm like, girl, you better shut up, okay? Mm -hmm. And continue to take that semi-hard pee, okay? Because I know he be like tapping it. Come on. Come on. I got Tony Preston. I've been in love with her for 20 years. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tony. I really feel for you, girl, but you got a hard choice to make, okay? It's either money 
Okay, or some dick. Which one is gonna be? Now, don't be surprised if you find Tony in a little entanglement of her own. She probably in one now. That's why she put that shit out there, just in case some paparazzi photos uh, uh, pop up. I was like, that girl, I got on her damn twenty. Talking about the church that kept her from a uh, uh, fucking girl, child. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. You were trying to be that little good girl. Uh, but you see the good girl don't work. The hoes get paid. Okay. Men love hoes. They love bitches and hoes all day. All day. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay. Uh, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> Put this damn picture. Who selected this picture of Cam Newton? He, yeah, he's a little suspect. Anyway, let me stop. Let me stop. Um, interesting. So Cam Newton's, uh, baby mama is just getting dragged on social media for asking for 15,000 a month. In, uh, I guess, child support or whatever, um, you know, her and Cam broke up when she found out, listen to me, when she found out that he had another baby with an IG model named Raina, okay, and this IG model lived above his restaurant downtown Atlanta. So when he was working at his restaurant, he would literally slide upstairs, lay pipe the hall, leave the restaurant, and then go home. And so now the baby mama is out here struggling, saying she's only making a thousand dollars a month. She really can't work during the pandemic. You know how it is to be a single mom. You got all them damn kids. He out here living his best life. Done put the the, the, the the damn ass model up above the restaurant so she get to eat for free and live for free. No hell no. Okay. And so honestly, I think he needs to pay her ass too. Okay. If you can, if you can afford, okay, your piece of ass. Uh, uh, a whole damn house condo living above the restaurant. She get to eat. Her son is in private school. Damn it, you could take care of the churn you had while you wasn't nobody. Okay? So I don't blame her ass. I don't blame her ass either. Get that check, girl. Shit, I'm all for them. Mm-hmm. Women getting that check. You taking all that damn abuse. He got it. He just got signed on to the Patriots. So shit, he ain't had it before, but now he got it. I bet you that other bitch ain't waiting around. Anyway, moving on. Get his ass off the screen. Pull up the comments for a second before I go in on this. What y'all talking about over there in the comments? Y'all having a good time? How many we got? Let me see. Slow the chat down. We 17. 17. Oh, y'all chilling tonight. I know we need to go live earlier because I know a lot of the overseas fans get mad that we going live late. I'm so sorry, okay? My son goes to sleep around this time. Jasmine is able to get over here. We don't move so damn far out, so it just works better this way. I apologize, but y'all do catch it over the weekend, okay? Um, let me see. Cam Newton, who is he? A football player, you know. Um, they live in check the check, and that's literally what they live in is check the check. Let me see. Um... Let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm just reading some questions. I love y'all too. I love y'all too. All right, who is next? Okay. Is it Joe Button and Tahiri? Now, I'm not here to negate or push aside anyone's abuse, okay? Now, if anyone was abused, I think, honestly, they deserve justice. You guys know that. You you know my platform. I don't play about that kind of shit, okay? But when it comes to Tahiri, I got a motherfucking problem. I do, I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Joe Button is going through a bit of a difficult time as a black man in media, okay? He's being underpaid. Under respect, all that, okay? And so I know he recently did not renew his Spotify deal. They wouldn't give him more money. And I do see other uh, uh, black men that are in his uh, position. Well, not really in his position, okay? Like Charlemagne the God is uh, uh, attacking Joe Budden, saying that he doesn't know how to negotiate. He left Complex. He left Spotify. But, you know, Joe Budden, it, 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 he's, a, he's a different type of personality, okay? He's building very different from the way the Breakfast Club is, okay? Because Breakfast Club is real check to check, okay? And Charlemagne is just now getting out on his own and seeing how it is to be a black man in Hollywood and to be the least paid, okay? So he's going to experience that while he's not trying to understand what Joe Budden is going through but I found it very interesting that while he's like going through this and Spotify doesn't want to really renew his deal nobody really wants to give him a contract except for Revolt you know Revolt gonna pay him $50,000 a year that's P. Diddy 
P. Diddy gonna check, uh, uh, collect all the damn royalties, okay, and give Joe the least amount, okay? They're gonna give him the 10%, the managerial fee, uh, the, the talent fee, <laughs> the talent manager fee. That's how Diddy do it. I get the artist fee, you get the talent manager fee, okay? Now, shout out to Diddy, because he is, I mean, he is employing a lot of black people, but still, he's still keeping their money just in a different form. He ain't changed. Um, but I, I find it interesting that Joe Budden is going through all of this in the media and Tahiri comes out of nowhere, okay? Acting as if we want to hear her ass, okay? No, Tahiri, I know your name is Tahiri, but we don't want to hear shit you got to say. Now, she claims that on an interview with Mr. Jason P., okay, he's literally sitting in a chair on his own piss, mm-hmm. Some motherfucking big can't even clean the piss properly out of his ball, you know, under, from under his ball, so I can't do none of that. Let me shut up. Shout out to Mr. Jason P. Now, um, so I saw the interview and I saw Tahiri trying to cry. Like she was going off to the side, like oh, somebody broke my nose because of him. I didn't see one tear. I saw makeup, but I ain't seen no tear. I saw her trying to make sure that makeup wasn't cracking. And, you know, basically she said, like, I guess he hit her or something like that. And I'm just like, Tahiri. Didn't you just film season 10 with Joe Button right after him and Sin broke up? And he didn't want to take your ass back, but you were steady filming with him. Okay, I guess to make old girl jealous. That's some evil shit. And now that you are not filming with him, you're not filming with anybody but low view ass Jason P. Nobody want to watch his ass, okay? Mm. Him licking his lips and they smell like ass? No. No. Negative. Not, no. Was that too harsh? It wasn't too harsh. I mean, his lips look like they smell just like funky, sh shitty ass. But anyway, um, not my business, his. Uh, so, and I'm like, um, first of all, you just filmed the whole season with him before the pandemic started. And y'all was friends and y'all was kicking. And, oh my God, he's not with Sin anymore. So, you know, he's always, it's kind of like, oh, he's always going to love me, even though he has a baby by you. Um, yeah, he, he proposed to me. He proposed. To me. I, mean, I mean, it was just kind of like, it was real nasty. Okay. It was real mean girl, mean girlish. Okay. And so it's interesting that she comes out during a pandemic when she's not allowed to work. She's not unable to work. And she sees that Joe Button is struggling, you know, with his contracts. And I'm like, she's going in for the kill. So not only is she trying to go for his pockets, but she's trying to go so that she can draw up her own lawsuit as well. Okay. Now watch what I say. Okay. I give it a month or two when the courts open back up to Harry is going to file for some type of damages. Okay. That, that, that damn interview that she did with Mr. Jason P. Okay. Ball sack smell just like piss. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Watch her try to come out to try to seek some damages. And I'm like, listen, okay. You were with your abuser on and off for all these years. Okay. You gladly went back to him. Even when he was with sin, uh, wasn't with sin. And now all of a sudden the checks ain't coming in. I'm glad that Joe Budden really slaughtered her ass online. She deserved that. She really does. Okay. Because this is the one that makes it bad for all this bitch right here. Okay. Cause I guarantee you, if Joe Budden had a still laid dick to her, her ass would be quiet. She wouldn't be up there with Jason P no views ass Jason P crying about somebody hitting her. And she fought his ass. Back. I was like, what do you do this at? You ain't getting no more love and hip hop checks. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. Moving on. Watch what I tell you. Oh, we got donations. Okay, thank you so much. I got that look. I appreciate that. Let me put on my little glasses. Thank y'all for uh, bearing with me. My damn jaws and neck and mouth hurt and shit. Okay, let me see. Who's next? Um, uh, Miss Lulu, the nail whisperer. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, honey. Night, what's going on with the breakfast club? I mean, literally, they were trying to end their contract, but the pandemic, you know, put everything on hold. So they had to keep that little ditty check, okay? Um, and who's next? Thank you, Tiffany Embry. Hello from San Diego. I love... I haven't been to San Diego. I need to go. I really do. And uh, J. Marie La, I want you to stay yourself and stay protected. You are a national treasure. Cheers to you and Shatala. Hey! Okay, that wasn't, that wasn't a good swing. Spin. Okay, that was... Let me get you a better spin. Hey! Okay. <laughs> Protect Tasha at all costs. 
Okay, let me see. Y'all ready for Creflo? Okay, we got 18,000. Shout out to all 18,000 motherfucking winos. Okay, especially the ones overseas that's up late. Okay, watch it. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay, now before who's next? Let me see who we got. Who we got? We're gonna take a break before we come back with this wine. Okay, I'm um, Mr. Ursher. And uh, Pastor Creflo Dollar, okay? We got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means Bully raise a damn glass to. Reverse! Reverse! Y'all remember that damn song? Don't y'all laugh at me? Why knows? But for real, listen close and listen carefully. The olive leaf extract can reverse high blood pressure and diabetic high blood sugar, or the sugar, as some of our grandmamas may call it. It can also kill any nasty little bugs in your bodies like parasites, bacteria, fungi, tumors, and much, much more. And if that's not enough, you can also tell certain cancers like breast, prostate, colon, liver, and skin cancer to take a seat because the olive leaf extract has been known to fight it. And their friend lupus can get it too, okay? So I need my winos to be in good health because we have some good dragging to do. So visit myoliveleaf.biz to help get your health in order. See, I enjoy oral sex, but to be honest, some of my experiences have been not pleasing due to lack of proper vaginal hygiene. I went down on this chick once and the yoni was so good and fresh. It took me on like a whole nother level of just pleasure. So at that moment, I had to stop and ask, what are you using? And she told me, embrace Pangea Feminine Wash. We all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence. So visit embracepangea.com. And of course, I got my winos covered for a discount. So use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. Okay, we're back. I was reading y'all comments. Okay, shout out to all. It's like almost 19,000. Oh my God, I'm so humble. I'm so humble. And I was, listen, y'all, though, the bigger I, like, we get, I say I, but it's definitely not, not I, okay? Um, there are some things that's got to change. <sighs> we have the, the capabilities, okay, um, to send some shit viral. The stuff that I say, I can't use the N word no more. I grew up on that word. This is some bullshit. I grew up on that word. Anyway, but just minor changes, not a lot. So I appreciate y'all bearing with me, okay? So I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. I can't always be the ratchet bitch that I am, but on Patreon I am. <laughs> on Patreon I get down, okay? All right, so y'all better be over there because we're going to be going live over there after the show, okay? Patreon.com forward slash Tasha K. Now back to Usher. Now y'all remember... I was um, one of the ones that broke the Usher uh, uh, herpes story open, okay? Now, I was in contact with uh, uh, the victims, and, uh, you know, he has since settled, okay? You guys know that we broke even the story on him paying uh, Quintasia. Is it Quintasia Sharpton? I always get... I'm like, is her name real, last name really Sharpton? Because I think of Al Sharpton. I'm just like, no, that's not her name, but it is. Quintasia Sharpton to lie. Okay, so she got paid to lie to make the allegations look ridiculous, okay? And so, yes, Usher was around here, and I can say it ain't no allegedly giving hoes herpes, okay, all day, every day. Now, you remember when I told y'all, if y'all are day ones, okay, y'all was with me, and <clears throat> I'm receiving all this information, all these tips that checked out, okay? Um, I know this Usher never really can. He ain't stupid. Usher ain't coming with no damn lawyers because he knew. He knew that I saw the, the medical records. Okay, so he was around here pippling and blistering and shit, just blistering, okay? Out there like, <laughs> you know how it is when you down there. Anyway, you done had a ball, you know what it's like, but listen. Um, and so, long story short, um, I put out that wifey, because, you know, he was uh, uh, married to uh, Grace Miguel, okay, older woman. She was in her 50s, had kids already, um, already established. She was his manager, okay, and he married his manager. You know, the first marriage, he married uh, his hairstylist, okay, older woman as well. So second marriage, Grace Miguel, he married his manager. Now, he was cheating left and right, okay, slanging, uh, you know, slanging dick. He, I think he got herpes while he was with her. If I'm not mistaken, because Tamika missed it. And she was sleeping with Usher while he was with Tamika. 
Okay, and he was sleeping with everybody else, doing cocaine, all types of shit, okay? And so um, I, I was just like, how did this information come to the public? Who just happens to stumble upon court documents that only Usher and his attorneys would have, okay? Because the young lady got a settlement. She had no reason to kind of put her name out there because she was sleeping. Uh, he had given uh, uh, Tamika, his ex-wife's, best friend and I guess maid of honor herpes okay and she sued him he got you know she got a million dollars really wasn't nothing you can't give me no million dollars for no herpes I'm sorry that's a lifetime illness okay you're gonna have to pay me okay if Dr. Sabi or his team couldn't get rid of it you got to pay me for life now now um and so I always thought that the wife put it out now it was interesting after everything had came out you know, lawsuits are in effect. The wife files for divorce, okay? Now, the excuse that she gave, get this. Now, this is a 50-year-old woman, okay? Already got two grown-ass kids. We, uh, I, she wanted to have a baby. He didn't, and so that's why they're divorcing. She wanted more kids. And so, ironically, Jen, the new girlfriend, okay? I don't have her picture up here. I don't think it's really relevant. She doesn't really have a lot of followers. And so I don't want to really pull on blast like that because she's really not a public figure. She don't even have a blue check, okay? She is the vice president of um, Epic Records. Like I said, he's always hiring somebody that's got, like, more money than him or more authority. I don't know. I, you know, that's got to do with his mama. I'm trying to figure out, did his mama, like, sit on his face or something when he was a kid? I just don't know. <sighs> something happened. I didn't mean to say it like that, but something happened. Because he's always hiring, like, literally sleeping with older women or women that's got, like, more than him, okay? And then they drag his ass through court when they find out that he's still sleeping with young girls, okay? That's, that's, that's exactly what he does, okay? Um, and so I always thought that wifey put it out because I was just like, listen, that was just an excuse to get out of the marriage. Um, it, it didn't have anything to do with a baby because, honestly, the woman that he has a baby with now, he's been screwing her the entire time. He was with Grace, okay? Now, he probably got her pregnant a few times, and now that she's 37, pushing forward, and she's like, listen, I'm going to keep this baby, okay? And there are pictures to back that up that these two have literally been in an entanglement the entire time he was married. He always kept a transition home. He always kept the transition hoe. And so Jen is just a transition hoe that's just getting older. She saved her eggs, okay? Uh, Usher agreed, you know, to plant those eggs. And so, yes, uh, now he's having a baby. So I always knew the divorce between him and Grace was bullshit. They were fighting about the shit that she found out as his manager and put out to the media so that she would get out of that damn marriage with a check, okay? Because she's still getting a check for all the shit that she did while they were married. Okay, and even after, okay, that was a good, that was a good move for her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So congratulations, Ursher. Got his little, uh, what, what, he got a little mixed baby coming. Okay, um, and so yeah, that should be interesting. I'm sure he's gonna have a transition uh, for this too. Okay, because while Tamika was pregnant, I remember that. Um, uh, and right after she had the baby, she went overseas to uh, get like a tummy tuck. Because Usher wouldn't stop sleeping with young women. He just won't stop. He loves 20-something, 20 20-something years, years, okay? He loves them, okay? But likes to marry old women. I guess his mama established that relationship for him, okay? Listen, I'm, I'm going to be. You, if you're going to marry somebody, you need to marry somebody like me, and that's exactly what we keep doing. Moving on. Get the blister off the screen. I bought that bitch. Oh, oh, oh. You need more wine? Okay, listen, listen, I'm going to take one more break before I prepare to drag Creflo's ass, okay? Because they don't try me. Listen, I don't, I don't play around no church. Listen, listen, listen. God anointed me, okay, strictly for the church, okay? And so we about to get into this here sermon right after this break. We got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a glass, too. See, I enjoy oral sex, but to be honest, some of my experiences have been not pleasing due to lack of proper vaginal hygiene. I went down on this chick once and the yoni was so good and fresh. It took me on like a whole nother level of just pleasure. So at that moment, I had to stop and ask, what are you using? And she told me, embrace Pangea Feminine Wash. We all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence. So visit EmbracePangea.com. And of course, I got my winos covered for a discount. So use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. Reverse! 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 Yo, yo! 
y'all remember that damn song? Don't y'all laugh at me? Why knows? But for real, listen close and listen carefully. The olive leaf extract can reverse high blood pressure and diabetic high blood sugar, or the sugar, as some of our grandmamas may call it. It can also kill any nasty little bugs in your bodies like parasites, bacteria, fungi, tumors, and much, much more. And if that's not enough, you can also tell certain cancers like breast, prostate, colon, liver, and skin cancer to take a seat because the olive leaf extract has been known to fight it. And their friend lupus can get it too, okay? So I need my winos to be in good health because we have some good dragging to do. So visit myoliveleaf.biz to help get your health in order. Okay, we're back. I see y'all in the comments and everything. Y'all ready to drag this past? Now listen, I this story was not supposed. Oh, hold on, hold on. What am I supposed? Oh, oh, guys, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Nutriverse. Okay, my favorite liquid multivitamin. Okay, I don't take multivitamins unless they're liquid form. This is the most powerful that's on the market now. Has all the vitamins and minerals that our body needs. Okay, it's a meal supplement. All the above. Okay, I highly recommend this. It gives you all. It gives me all the energy. Okay, that I got and everything like that. Okay, uh, works as a pre-workout. All that. Okay, if you guys want to try it, the link is below in the description box as well as in the comment section okay now we're back don't forget to get that olive leaf too and that pangea for your cooch okay i keep that shit i'm my man, i gotta get jasmine some bottles tonight um so listen how we look we look like twins my hair just like his ass my hair look i look just like his ass anyway Okay, so Mr. Uh, I think his real name is Michael, but we're going to call him Cref. Okay, we're going to call him Cref. Now, this story was not supposed to be on this platform at all, okay? Because first of all, the story was, until tonight, unverified. Until yesterday, I'm sorry. Unverified, okay? Um, I didn't know if it was true or not. Uh, the witnesses that was given to me did not respond to me until the church came after me. Now, listen, y'all. So I, I started my little Patreon. I got like the $5 tier. I got the $15 tier. Okay. The $15 tier is for the real shit. Okay. The actual recordings, videos, real receipts and stuff like that. And then in the $5 tier, everything is like alleged, unverified stuff that I just get dropped in my DM, you know, or email and people don't want to follow up, but follow up, but they want to remain anonymous. I cannot get up here and, and really vouch for the receipts if they're not going to talk to me. Okay. If you're not going to be a physical person, let me know who you are. Uh, give me some pictures, some type, some type of anything to corroborate the story that I'm sorry, it has to remain alleged. Okay. Now, a lot of my information that I get, I actually get from physical people. Okay. And so that stuff is backed up. Now in this particular story, it was real. It was real, 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 fucked up. real. Now y'all saw me. I, I don't know if you're on my Instagram. I don't know if y'all saw me promote, uh, Creflo Dollar, uh, allegedly took dick for four straight hours. Now here's the story. Okay. This one made the church come after me. And now they're trying to send their lawyers and I sent mine right on motherfucking back. Okay. So, uh, somebody contacts me in my DM says, Hey, I don't know if you know, Tasha, that Creflo, uh, 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 sleeps with men sometimes. Okay. And I said, well, keep going. They said, well, uh, there's this particular guy whose life he's supposedly ruined and he goes by the name of Ramon. Okay. Now the person in the DM gave me Ramon's name, everything profile said, hit him up. This is what it is. Okay. So he keeps going. He says that, you know, some pastor in Columbus, uh, pastor Shirley of Columbus, Georgia needed an extra 50,000 to, I guess, build a church on a lot. TD Jakes and all the other pastors had given her the money. And so she was short 50,000. And so she decided to go to Creflo dollar to get the money. Okay. And so Creflo wanted something in exchange. This is what the person said in the DM. And he said that he would give her the money in exchange for her minister of music, who the minister of music's name is Ramon. Okay. The guy who is allegedly, uh, I guess supposedly the victim. I don't know. Um, make a long story short. She says that Shirley agreed, sent Ramon, uh, down to the hotel to meet Creflo. <laughs> Creflo came in, took a shower, um, and, uh, was singing in the shower. <laughs> he was on the phone with this person telling this person he didn't want to be gay no more. I don't want to be gay no more. I'm not gay no more. That's what he said. I'm not gay no more. I am 
I'm delivered. That's what he said, okay? Uh, said that he even had, a, I guess, a wife that was in the military that lived in Valdosta. Uh, she was a lesbian. They both covered for each other while he was gay. And joining the church, he was supposed to free himself and be delivered, okay? I'm not gay no more. I'm not gay. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I hope you guys are following me because it is a lot. Are you following me, Jasmine? Okay, perfect. If Jasmine could get it, because she'll be like, hold up, rewind. Now, so uh, so Miss Shirley sent them down to the hotel, I guess pretty much pimped him out to supposedly Creflo, okay? And uh, Creflo was in the shower. He asked Ramon to get in the shower. He said no. So Ramon was still on the phone with my source, okay, that gave me the information. And so when Creflo came out of the shower, I guess there was some talk. The person that was on the phone, the phone was supposed to be hung up. It wasn't hung up. He overheard uh, 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 Creflo telling Ramon that he is a bottom. Okay, and so he ended up giving dick to Creflo supposedly for four hours. Okay, that's what this story entails. So I did not put out this. I didn't even give opinion on this story. All I did was post what goes on day to day in Tasha K's DM life. Okay, because this is the shit that I get. And I'm sure Jasmine knows because a lot of stuff that they can't get to me, she get that bullshit too. So I literally just posted in Patreon for the shits and giggles because I really can't post it on social platforms because it's too vulgar. Too many cuss words, stuff like that. Now, that was the end of the story, okay? I can't verify this story. I thought it was funny. It was a little kiki. I can't, you know, th that's as far as it was supposed to go. Well, Creflo Ministries, okay? Now, I will place those receipts in my Patreon, okay? Uh, all of the information that they sent me and Jasmine and my attorneys, I will post the emails in Patreon, okay? Patreon.com forward slash Tasha K. If you want to be nosy and look to see and prove that Creflo ass paid, okay? Or has somebody from his team pay to get in to my Patreon to view the receipts. Now, at the time, I think we had like 500 uh, two, two to 500 Patreon members in that particular tier. I'm not sure. I know all together we got almost a thousand. Shout out to all the thousand winos, VIP members that are in Patreon. I appreciate y'all. Y'all are saying y'all having a good time. Y'all are able to DM me. It's more personal over there. I get it, okay? Because a lot of these receipts I cannot post on YouTube because the platform is too big now, okay? And assholes like this, okay? Over here, okay? These money hungry ATM, uh, 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 ATM in the church having ass Negroes, okay? I said Negroes. I didn't say me. Yeah, I said Negroes. Yay. Yay, Tasha. Yay. I am changing my vocabulary vocabulary right before y'all eyes okay now listen um and so they actually pay to go into my patreon to pull the receipts and send me cease and desist talking about trademark infringement and slander i said well where's the slander because i didn't say nothing where's the slander and the trademark infringement i said well i couldn't get my lawyer on the phone because i'm like these motherfuckers they, they trying me okay i'm like oh god Olga, pick up the phone. It was early. It was early in the morning, so I couldn't get her. She was still asleep, okay? Um, and so I was like, you know what? Let me remove his picture. Let me remove his name just in case it is what it is. But my attorney was like, that ain't no damn trademark infringement. Trademark infringement is when you take somebody's name, okay, and you assume it as your own, and you're selling goods and services under that name. That's not what you're doing, okay? And I said, I know this, because I ain't no, I ain't no dumb hoe, okay? I ain't, I ain't dumb. I, I, I'm not, I, this ain't my first... Walk around the block when it come to this, okay? So I don't know if the church thought they was going to scare me with their God, okay? And I quickly said, their God, okay? Not our God, their God, the ATM God. Now listen, that's what it is. Fucking ATM, ATM machine God, okay? Come in the spirit of an ATM machine, okay? Anybody that asks for, for private jets and all this, I'm like, what, what God got to do, God? You, you healthy? You got a meal? You got a house? What you need a private jet for, Okay? And all you doing out here is selling books that you don't, you don't, the ideas you don't got from Joe Osteen. Stop, stop. Mm, 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 mm. They both are recycling ideas. But anyway, so back to the story. So I'm getting the cease and desist, and they're like, oh, you done did this. This is slander. You need to take this down. I'm like, first of all, if anybody watches Tasha K, they know Tasha K don't take shit down. I don't take any motherfucking thing down at all. At all. I don't take shit down. Okay? They, the hell with that. The hell with that. Now. I said, but I will make some changes until I get legal advice. Now, I'm not dumb, okay? So I was like, well, ain't nobody never hit me with trademark. That's different. I said, so let me, let me be smart. You know, I'm a black woman. Let me take it down. 
So my lawyer was like, why did you take it down? Put it back up. I said, well, it's already out now, okay? I'll just premiere it on YouTube. She said, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Now, the reason it really came to YouTube, because I'm not, uh, cease and desist, I ain't worried about that. Every single celebrity that I report on, they always trying to send some made-up Word document, PDF uh, form, cease and desist, okay? Just like they sent from the office of uh, Creflo Ministries. It wasn't even from an attorney, because when I told them to stop emailing me and my uh, team members to email my attorney, that's when they said they wanted to involve their attorney in. Okay. Oh, well, I'm just gonna forward communications over to my attorney. You should have did that in the first place, okay? Instead of having your nosy ass over there in my Patreon, okay? Worried about Creflo taking dick for four hours, okay? Allegedly, okay? That is the question. Now, okay? Because I don't know, and really, do I care? But word on the street is he's supposed to have prostate problems, and we got prostate problems because the prostate can beat down. Oh, oh. Now, this is what really made me bring it to the platform because. If you are a member of my Patreon and you saw that email, whether you agreed with it, whether you said it was true, whether you said it wasn't true, that was for y'all to figure out, okay? I don't get involved in that. I just post the shit that I get, okay? Especially if I'm not going to report on it. It's kind of like a bonus site, okay? For people who just kind of want to see the behind the scenes of me breaking a story from beginning to end. So, um... I didn't put his name out there. I didn't put the, the supposed victim's name out there. Now, and when we're speaking about victim, the only victim that I see here is Creflo. If he's the one taking the D for four hours, okay? That's the only victim that I see, okay? I don't see Ramon being a victim. But hey, you know, if you're being pimped by the church for 50K, then yes, okay. Now, I knew who Ramon was. I reached out to Ramon on August 23rd, okay? The guy that supposedly laid pipe to uh, Creflo, okay? Allegedly. Okay. Um, and I, like I said, I can't confirm or deny because, uh, you know, Ramon didn't want to get back to me until, until this is where it gets messy. Okay. This is why we hear why knows. Nah, nah. <laughs> I know Creflo World Ministries is watching. Okay. And don't y'all go over there in his live chat. I'm asking him. He took it for four hours. That's that man's business. That's him and Taffy. Laffy Taffy's business. Now, um, so, I, I'm literally, okay, this is the end of it. I'm going to let my attorneys deal with it. I have nothing to really put out. But when the alleged victim spoke out on Facebook, and this is what the alleged victim wrote. His name is Ramon Minga. I think that's how you say his name. I, I literally uh, uh, um, put his uh, response. Hold on. I'm burping and shit. <laughs> Damn wine. I'll put his response in Patreon too, okay? But listen, so he writes, after I put out the story, after World Changers and Creflo came after me, talking about they was going to sue me, and I'm like, for what? I didn't write nothing. What are you talking about sue me for? Because I had disseminated an information? No, 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 no. That's not how the law works, sir. You're a public figure, and your uh, 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 freedom of press Hold on for a second. Hold on, hold on. Because I'm trying to do two things at once. Y'all know I can't multitask this shit. Hold on. I'm trying to pull this damn, uh, damn, I got all these pictures. Okay, so, back to Ramon. Okay, so his name is Ramon, R-A-M-O-N, Minga. I think it's Mingia. M-I-N-G-G-I-A. Okay, so he writes this. After the story comes out, now the only message, the only message that I had to Ramon, I had no communication with Ramon, okay? I sent him a message on August 23rd when I got the story. I said, hey, Ramon, can we chat? He never opened the message, you know, on Facebook. It'll show you, you know, exactly if they seen it or not. Nothing. So I, I assume I cannot move forward with this story, so I'll just put it in Patreon and let the winos get a kinky, okay? I don't know if it's true or not. Still don't know if it's true or not. But listen, so Ramon writes, uh, Saints, I really need you to pray for me, he says. I don't know who this blogger is, Tasha K, is, but she's been spreading lies about me and other ministry leaders on Facebook. She sends you messages, and when you don't accept her page or friend request, she starts spreading lies or rumors. Now, as a reporter, when I'm giving a story, I'm supposed to follow up. I don't, I don't literally harass these people. I send you a friend request. If you, he, he accepted my friend request, but he never saw the message, okay? Now, he also goes on to say, um, and when you don't accept her friend request, 
she starts spreading lies and rumors. Now, I'm trying to stay saved, is what he said. But one thing I don't do is mess and drama. Keep my name out, keep my name and my pastor's name out your mouth, Tasha K. Now, when I saw that, because I didn't think he had got, the, you know, my message. I was like, because I didn't tell him what I wanted to talk to him about. I don't just put shit like this into your DM. I'm going to be like, hey, you know, my name's Tasha K. Can we chat about something? If they get on the phone with me, then I'll kind of ease the conversation. But I'm not going to put some shit. Did you did you dick Creflo, do uh, Creflo Dollars down four hours with dick? I'm not going to do that in your DM. That's not how I work. I'm very professional, okay? Very professional. Now listen. Um... So when I saw the message, I called my attorney. I said, Olga, I never talked to Ramon. I never had any communication with him. He never responded. He never knew what I had. No one knew his last name. No one knew who he was on Facebook. Do you know how many Ramones there are on social media? So I put out a story. He's literally posting my Patreon in his like comment section because everybody's like who's Tasha K who's this bitch spreading lies about you okay so he's like here it is and he's literally screenshotting my Patreon I'm like who told you the question is if I didn't put your name out the winos don't know your name they don't know your face they don't know nothing and you on Facebook talking about it's me it's me Tasha K is talking about me and she's lying my question is, Ramon, Creflo, who told him? So now we have a story. You understand where this is going? Because see, had he would have responded, we would have had a story. The fact that he didn't respond, we didn't have a story. But now that Creflo is sending his secretaries, his press secretaries, and he probably screwed too. Mm -hmm, mm. After me to write up, okay, in the uh, 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 cease and desist that they send to everybody that uses his uh, name. Okay, and in his stories, that's not how it works, sir. You are a public figure, okay? You are entitled to public scrutiny, all right? And, and God has appointed bitches like me, okay? Okay, to look down on y'all asses, okay? And I see everything. I see everything, okay? I'm sorry, I see, I'm like, oh, 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 you done bought a, you done bought a jet? Oh, okay, wait, I'm gonna inform the people. Oh, you done fucked him in the, oh, let me inform the people. Okay, that's why God, okay, invented bloggers. They don't like that. See, they think that they here and God is, and Jesus is here and God is here. No, it's God, Jesus, bloggers, preachers. That's how it go. Now, um, and so I said what I said, <laughs> I said what I said now. Um, so back to the situation, I'm like, Ramon, who told you about my story? So I'm talking to my attorney. She said, you know what that is? That is a move to strike. I said, what do you mean a move to strike? She said, they call that in legal terms, a move to strike, which means in order for them to prepare a case, they have to get who's ever involved, okay, to, to deny it publicly. So they didn't realize that you didn't even talk to his ass. I said, so how would they know which Ramon it was from World Changers, okay, and he's got thousands of members, and he's got several churches. How would they know that it is this Ramon? So either Ramon gave me that story, or either Creflo ass got in front of that motherfucking story. Okay? Because I don't understand. Ramon, I didn't, listen, I didn't tell you. Who told you? And so my attorney was like, that. see, that's what happens. See, the churches think they smart, but they ain't that smart. Okay? That's why they got bloggers like you. Now, I'm just trying to figure out what time did you call Ramon and did you, t what did you tell him to say? Did you tell him to say this? Because he literally, oh, she's speaking out against leaders. Oh, she's talking about me and spreading lies. But I never, I never talked to you. I never, I never talked to this man. Who you think told him, Jasmine? Why knows who you think told him? Because I, I didn't tell, y'all didn't tell him. Who, who you think told him? I ain't put his name out. Did y'all know his name? So who told him? Who? Who told him? Hold on. Him? Him? Who told Ramon? That is the question of the night. Now, like I said, I don't know if this story is true, 
But there's some shit going on behind the scenes that don't make no sense because you don't send me a cease and desist right after Ramon done posted that this shit ain't true to back up your cease and desist. So somebody done got dick laid to him four hours straight, bitch, and it wasn't me. This time. None of the ass. I listen, 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 listen. You, I don't care who you are, you getting dick laid in your ass for four hours straight. You listen, I want hey, more power motherfucker to you, okay? I, I can't do it, okay? 20 minutes tops for me, okay? It feels like I gotta take a shit. Somebody fucking me in the ass. I gotta take a shit. I can't do it, okay? I don't. But word on the street is he's supposed to have prostate problems. That's what I was told. Okay? Mm-hmm. How was that? Did I explain everything? So the question of the night is, who who told Ramon? Why is Bixby? <laughs> so the question of the night is, who told Ramon about our story? Because I didn't tell him, okay? Was it Creflo? Or is this story true? Do y'all believe it? I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence, okay? I think, honestly, Ramon put the story out himself in third person. Because, honestly, this is one thing that I miss. I meant to tell y'all is when the, the anonymous source wrote in, and they named names, okay? They gave me names, all right? When they wrote in, they mentioned that they were a truck driver, okay? Now, you know I'm a reporter, so I'm going to investigate every motherfucking thing, everything, everything, okay? And so he was like, hey, I'm driving, I'm a truck driver. But then when I look at Ramon's profile, I see in his description that he says that he's a truck driver, Now, I said, Creflo coming after the wrong one. Now, see, <laughs> I don't care. That's, that's why I got attorneys on, on, on deck because, listen, I'm going to do my job peacefully, okay? This will not stop the wine unless there is an injection and we ain't in court. So, you know what? <laughs> attention, attention. Is Creflo getting dicked in the ass for four hours? If so, he's a trooper. He's a trooper. He's true. Let me stop dragging him. Let me stop dragging him. See, this wouldn't even have been here had they would have just shut up. It, it was only like, what, uh, uh, 400 people that read their story. 400. So what do you see? And that, you see where there's smoke, there's fire. 22,000? Oh, my God. Watching old Creflo. Let me see, let me see. Ramon with the side. Let me see. Put the comments back up. Let me see what y'all talk about. Tasha, why you got me looking people up on Facebook? That's his name. But listen, y'all can see he wrote the post. So I'm like, I, I didn't even tell you, sir. And y'all just gave y'all shit away. If they would have never said nothing. They out there covering bases. Ramon, listen, you need to say and you need to deny everything. But how, how, how you know what's wrong? They, they out here literally because they're used to this shit. They're used to, this is their protocol. But the problem is they didn't know that God anointed me for this that damn story, okay? It covered my base, bitch, okay? So we are going to have to pull Ramon's records and see who did this. Was it Ramon? Is Creflo? Did Creflo call Ramon? Did Taffy Laffy call Ramon? Did Ra who called Ramon? Because I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Somebody said loose booty dollar. That's his business. Listen, hey. I'm just saying, I, I notice he does do a lot of anti, doesn't he do a lot of anti-LGBTQ stuff? I don't know. Don't get me the line. But I know they're watching tonight, okay? So they can, whatever they got to say, I talk, look, don't call me no more. You, you email me again, I'm going down to the cold house to, to file harassment charges. <laughs> I ain't that petty. I ain't about to waste my damn time. But listen. Um, yeah, he gave him all, I, I just don't understand. But Ro, Ramon, R-A-M-O-N, I think it's Mingia. If if I don't even know how to say his last name. M-I-N-G-G-I-A. You're gonna see the post right there. You're gonna see the post right there. Yeah. Him and Creflo was probably like, oh my god, it's in the Patreon. Oh shit. It's in the Patreon. She needs to take this down. You need to take this down. I'm not taking shit down. Shout out to Mo Web. I love you. <laughs> shout out. Shout out to Lawrenceville. Lawrenceville. Shout out to the motherfucking Lawrenceville. Bitch, I'm in Lawrenceville. Let me see. Um, them here Roy's need anointing. Y'all are crazy. But I'm just telling you, next time, church, if, listen, if, you, if, if it's a story that's not viral, you taking me to court, you even giving it this much life. This is the reason why we got a story. Y'all did this. I wasn't even going to do it. I literally just posted 
In the post, I said, damn, reading this, my ass hurts. That's all I said. I said, from reading this, my ass hurts. That's all I said. Now, you you scrambling together, getting people to go, oh, I know you motherfucking didn't just call, God damn it, how to blog or no, bitch. You better take this down. God said, take this down. I literally said, listen, if you are going to, uh, they said they were going to persecute me. This is what the church said. They were going to persecute me to the fullest extent of the law. I said, now, what police officer, you, what sheriff, you didn't fuck in the ass? Because uh, you can't persecute me to the fullest extent of the law for uh, literally putting out a story. And I literally said it was unverified. So, bitch, what are you suing? I didn't write it. Somebody else wrote it. And I just said, share. There you go. There you go. What you got? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Ramon trying to do damage control. <laughs> Y'all believe, listen, I don't know what to believe. I, I know I personally, as a woman, can't take no dick for four hours straight like that. So I, I if he can do it, I mean, that that was the reach for me. Because I'm like, four hours? You on the phone four hours listening to somebody take dick? I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? The person probably on the other end of the phone that told me the story probably beating his dick too. Shit. <laughs> okay. Um, y'all stop talking about loose booty dollar. Y'all stupid. <laughs> And that's what happened. A hit dog hollered. <laughs> Where's Teddy when we need him? Teddy be with the shade. Teddy be with the shade and shit. Um. <laughs> okay. I don't. I want to hear Tasha say the list again, please. What list? What list? Oh, you said it's. Uh... Oh, there's God. There's Jesus. There's me, and there's preachers. <laughs> In that order. <laughs> I'm telling you, I even had a preacher tell me that. Shout out to Larry Reed Live. He was like, Tasha, God anointed the bloggers for these preachers' asses. I'm telling you, you seen what happened to John Gray. He called me a goddamn liar and came out and was like, Avenger. Avenger. I am sorry. <laughs> I am sorry, Avenger. Listen, he had the microphone like this, Avenger. I am sorry. I am sorry. I wish that there was a day where we can go back in a time where we was riding around and we had nothing. And I got all this money now and I don't know what to do with all this pussy coming my way. I don't know. John Gray, after he said extortion, you, you, you needed to apologize to me. He should have said Antasha Kate. God anointed you to take that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I needed my goddamn apology. Shit, Avenger gonna be fine. She used to this. <laughs> shit, give me my apology. Trying to come for me and shit. Anyway. <sighs> anyway. Um. <sighs> okay, listen. We're gonna take a small break. Okay, y'all can put your questions in the back. Uh, in the, I said in the back. <laughs> in the comments. Y'all can put your questions in the comments. Please do not forget, we're going to carry this over. Like, I got to look uh, a special guest that's coming on to the Patreon. This is honestly for VIP members. This ain't content for the channel, okay? It's, it, trust me, you're not. it's not nothing that you're going to miss. But if you guys want something more intimate, we're going over to Patreon after this live, okay, to have a special guest with a special conversation, okay? So patreon.com forward slash Tasha K. Uh, we got some sponsors that we need to brag about. Put your questions in the, in the chat, and I'll be back to answer your questions before we end this motherfucking live. Reverse! Reverse! Y'all remember that damn song? Don't y'all laugh at me. Why knows? But for real, listen close and listen carefully. The olive leaf extract can reverse high blood pressure and diabetic high blood sugar, or the sugar, as some of our grandmamas may call it. It can also kill any nasty little bugs in your bodies like parasites, bacteria, fungi, tumors, and much, much more. And if that's not enough, you can also tell certain cancers like breast, prostate, colon, liver, and skin cancer to take a seat because the olive leaf extract has been known to fight it and their friend lupus can get it too, okay? So I need my winos to be in good health because we have some good dragging to do. So visit myoliveleaf.biz to help get your health in order. See, I enjoy oral sex, but to be honest, some of my experiences have been not pleasing due to lack of proper vaginal hygiene. I went down on this shit once 
and the yoni was so good and fresh, it took me on like a whole nother level of just pleasure. So at that moment, I had to stop and ask, what are you using? And she told me, embrace Pangea Feminine Wash. We all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence. So visit EmbracePangea.com. And of course, I got my winos covered for a discount. So use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. <laughs> Me and Jasmine laugh about the singers. I'm truly tipsy, okay? I'm truly tipsy. Now, damn, these comments moving fast. Shit. Okay, so for those of y'all that are wondering what I'm drinking, I, we drank, okay? I'm feeling this. The Apothic White. We done fucked this bottle up, okay? This is a winemaker's blend. Tastes kind of like a Pinot Grigio and a Chardonnay mixed together. Costs about $9 a bottle. It's honestly one of my favorite. You're going to taste some apples, some light lemon. As well as some very, very ripe pears. Um, it's really one of my favorite, like, uh, winemakers. The Apothic, you guys know I live for the Apothic Red, the Apothic Dark, um, the Apothic Inferno. I live for them all. And so the white, if you want something that's smooth and that's not going to get you too fucked up, okay, um, this is the wine, okay? So you guys can Google it. Let me see what y'all talking about in the comments. We still got 20000 How much did we have for that Creflo Dollar soda? 22000 22, I'm telling you, y'all better keep them cease and desist to yourself because I'm telling you, I am not that bitch. I honestly felt sorry for him at first, but then when he, when Ramon came out, I said, now, nah, now nah, we got a story, bitch. What? Listen, we need to do hashtag on Instagram, who told Ramon? Who told Ramon? Um, T.O. Wendy Williams, Wendy Williams is coming back. She's producing movies, okay? Um, she's with her man, Dr. Darren Porcher. Um... Yeah, life is life is good. Life is good. Latoya Lucky T, uh, the queen of deflection. Okay, now I seen her on social media talking about she was homeless and shit, trying to take uh, uh emphasism off of her husband out here parlaying. Okay, y'all know what parlaying is, party and land. Okay, with several side holes. Okay, now he gonna get out talking about the devil and try to take down his marriage. No, nigga, you. Oh, dang it, I said the word. I wasn't supposed to say the n word. Damn. No, Negro, you are the devil when it comes to your marriage. I hate when people try to, I'm telling you, there's God, there's God, there's Jesus, there's me, there's preachers, and then there's cheaters. <laughs> so, um, let me see, Nisi Nash, congratulations to Nisi Nash. Now, I don't for a second believe that this relationship just came out of the blue, okay? She has been sleeping with Jessica for a minute. You don't just up and just marry somebody, okay? A few months after you done got divorced, okay? And you was with this man for eight years, and this woman sang at your funeral and stuff like that, so wedding. need... Huh? No. Wedding. I said funeral? <laughs> Shit, wedding. Sorry, we ain't, we ain't speaking none of, that, none of that in existence, okay? That is the winemaker's blend talking. But listen, um... Yeah, that it just doesn't happen like that. So they've always had a relationship. I think what it is is Jake, her husband. I think his name is Jake. Um, he had, you know, his teeth was too big. You know, them veneers was way too. And, you know, Jessica just had them small chiclet teeth and was just able to get down there easier. And I think that's just what it happened. I think that's just what happened. You know what I'm saying? Um, did you know the winos are now dragging Ramon? Why y'all drag? Don't harass him now. Don't harass him. I'm just trying to figure out, like, they on Facebook dragging Ramon. Jesus, I can't. My phone is dead. Y'all leave me alone. I'm just trying to. Who who told him? That's all I want to know. Um, Let me see. The church people don't want to hear. They I don't know what that means. John Gray. Uh, wait, she sang at her wedding? She did sing at Niecy Nash's wedding. So that's been her girlfriend for a long time. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Questions, questions, questions. People are talking about your scamming wine, obsessed with Cardi B and broke. What does that got to do with me? <laughs> Other people are supposed to report on me, not me. Okay, ask them. Shit, they reported on that shit. Um, let me see. Uh, what's going on with qualities, controls, manager? I mean, nothing. He's making money and shit and getting sued. Uh, can you report on the fraud, Dr. Umar Johnson? Child, Dr. Umar Johnson reported on himself, okay? I don't need to report on that. He done told y'all everything y'all need to know. Um, somebody said, who told the Ramon challenge? That's what Jasmine said. He tried you, Tasha, and the White O's ain't playing. Y'all must be talking about Ramon. I'm just saying, like, I just, I don't know. 
Uh, let me see. Questions, questions, questions. Nisi Nash story surprised me. Oh, we it surprised us all. It surprised us all. Jaguar Rice. Shout out to Jaguar Rice. She's she, spilling hella wine, okay? Y'all, listen, y'all get in Jaguar Rice comments and tell her we need an interview. Now, she's a fan of the show, I heard, okay? Uh, let her know we need that interview. We need to sip some wine. We can do a podcast style, okay? Because we, I need her to drink. I drink too. She can smoke, you know what I'm saying? Even though I'm allergic to cigarette smoke. But shit, I'll put on a mask just so we can get that damn wine, okay? Um... Let me see. Thank you so much, Meredy. What is it? Marid07 uh, Clark. Thank you so much for the $10. Love you, Tasha. Keep doing your thing. Beautiful. I love you, too. Uh, thank you, MC Cobb. Can you elaborate on Jay and Bay Contact ritual, please. Great show. I mean, pretty much. I mean, you know, when, you, when you're when you into witchcraft, and witchcraft is not all bad, okay? A lot of people use it for uh, success and stuff like that, and I know Jay and Bay are, are hella into it, okay? She, Beyonce sings about it in her songs and stuff like that. And so, yes, um, there are certain things that you can't do working around them because they have you have to see them as above and so when they tell you not to look into their eyes is what i was told you know what i'm saying it's it's kind of an inferiority thing like you they you see them as above you okay and when you see somebody as above you whatever they ask you to do whatever they tell you you're going to instantaneously listen okay so that's exact that's it that's all that is uh let me see one million subscribers in the maker oh yes oh yes by the end of the year we will be that okay yes we will be there <laughs> Tasha K's back now. Uh, Real Housewife of Atlanta, Nene and Portia. Um, Nene ha- is not returning. Uh, Phaedra's returning. I-, I thought they was going to get rid of Cynthia. I know they demoted her ass. If she still got a peach, I'm going to be surprised. Because um, her ass is boring. But yeah, um, nothing, nothing really to go. I'm just waiting on the show to start so I can start uh, laying some wine out there. Takashi saying Nikki has uh, no number ones on her own. He said that. No, what I thought Takashi said was uh, on his latest song that he did with her trolls, she wasn't responsible for the number one. And I'm like, okay, okay. First of all, listen, I am a fan of Takashi, but. This album, because he's literally ruined all of his... I'm like, you out here beefing with rappers, and rappers work together to make money, okay? You out here beefing with them, trolling them. Instead of you focusing on the music, you flying here, flying there, talking about y'all said I couldn't fly to LA, y'all said I couldn't fly here. And I'm like, you need to focus on the music, because honestly, this album was absolute trash. Like, seriously. I I, I literally was listening to it, song after song, and I'm like... Takashi's first album, honestly, it didn't do, it didn't do as well because he got locked up. But it was a really, really great album, and he had a lot of great features. I don't know if you remember. Did you listen to it, Jasmine? His first album was amazing. Uh, this album, I was like, what the hell is this? I'm like, whose studio are you in? Because it's not mixed right. It's not mastered right. The echo, you can hear the echo in the background. And then when I saw the latest video with Black China with them damn sprinkles on her wrinkled ass 50-year-old body, I said, what the hell is going on? I'm so, I, You can't put too many colors in, and too many naked women in here for, to distract. That's all he's doing. It's just, it's just a distraction from this sorry-ass music that he got that he's making in his bedroom. I'm like, this. no, no, no. This is beginner's music. I'm like, we needed Takashi that went before that that I had the album before he went to jail. Okay, this album, I was like, what the fuck is this? I, I, I no. And Nicki got him that number one. Period. <sighs> My damn tongue dry, making me sound like I'm drunk, and I'm not even really drunk. Damn tongue dry. Mama featuring Nicki and Kanye was fire. It absolutely was. That album was amazing, and he fucked that up. Out here trying to be hard, knowing he ain't hard. Mm. His body flabby and all. Shit. Uh, y'all said he filming from his phone. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, now I gotta go. Guys, please do not forget, okay? Your olive leaf, okay? It pretty much can help any virus there is. I know, I take it religiously every day, okay? Okay, uh, the Nutriburst, please do not forget, okay? Your Nutriburst, all the links are below. Your Pangea Watch for your cooch, I love it, okay? 
vegan, cruelty free, okay, rose e extracts, all the above, okay, it's not going to burn your coochie, it's actually going to make it, oh, it's going to be like calm and like flowers and stuff, everybody that I know that, I, I got everybody hooked on it, okay, all the links are below in the description box as well as in the comments, um, please guys, don't forget to meet me on Patreon, I'm going over there now, okay, I'm going to do a live stream that's uh, unlisted, okay, for the Patreon members, if you want to uh, get in on this live stream, please feel free to follow me over there, patreon.com, forward slash Tasha K, uh, thank you all so much for watching, okay, thank you to Jasmine, <laughs> thank you to Nicole, if you want to follow my producers, okay, their links are below in the description box, um, as well as, it, I don't put y'all in the comments, no, just in the description box okay and if you can't get me on instagram you can definitely hit them please feel free to follow me on facebook instagram twitter snapchat and uh tiktok at unwind with tasha k please don't forget to subscribe to my patreon for more uh uh in-depth and raw receipts okay things like that it's only a bonus site so i'm not gonna stop putting mute news over here the news will flow as usual for those that are saying oh my god you need to quit youtube because you're over there on patreon no i'm over there because people will really want to to be involved in everything okay and so over here we come over here we have a good time i still premiere everything that we have over here that i can verify and back up in court because you know they begin sensitive out here all right so please see me over there and uh if you guys want to advertise on my platform please feel free to send me an email via marketing at unwindwithtashk.com that is marketing at unwindwithtashk.com if you have a tip on your favorite celebrity hit me jasmine or nicole in the dm or you can send me an email via unwindwithtashk at gmail.com that is unwindwithtashk at gmail.com thank you to all 22,000 that watched tonight okay we still breaking up on the fucking internet <laughs> that's why they can't stand our ass bitch cease and desist right now cease and desist you better say. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna try to find Teddy. I think he just literally. I don't know what happened to Teddy. I'm like, oh my god. I don't went through every box upstairs. We are still not settled into our new home. And uh, is that it? Did I forget anything? Okay. Thank you to all of the moderators. Thank you, thank you. I love y'all, and thank you to every single wino that tuned in. Okay, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Thank you to all the overseas winos. We would not be here without y'all. So I love y'all. If y'all have questions for me, please feel free to hit me in the DM or send me an email to unwindwithtashk at gmail.com. And now I gotta get. Go. Oh, uh, I was supposed to say cuss my ass out. <laughs> uh. I forgot. Shit. Now I gotta go. <laughs> Happy fucking Friday. Bye.